Hello, I'm Jomica, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. This is episode 14, maybe. Uh, we're going to go to Mission Control. I had checked out this earlier, and I think there's one I would like to do. And I th think... Actually, there's more than one I'd like to do. And I think we're going to do it all in the same one. We would like to position a satellite in specific orbit of Minmus. Um, in case you didn't guess, we're gonna go to Minmus today. Uh, I think we're gonna take that one. This may be a little bit too ambitious, but I wanna try it all in one mission. Um, and then the other one is Rescue Barlow from Orbit of Minmus. And to make it even more ambitious, I would like to send a Kerbal down to Minmus and bring him back up. And then take all that science and bring it to the research station that is sitting in orbit. So we are going to need two spaces for somebody to sit, and or at least two. And then we're going to need a lander and a satellite. Uh, I also feel like it's always nighttime when we're at the Space Center, and I think that's just how it ends up. I don't do it on purpose, but it is what it is. So, in order to do that, we don't really need anything specifically, but there are a few things that might make it a little bit easier. Like this donut fuel tank will make things easier. I could fit things in. The spider may be okay. I don't really need anything else there. Uh, heavier rockets are always a good thing, especially when we're using lots of mass. Um, let's see here. We're not going to need any of this aerodynamic stuff or that. Specialized control. That is a no. Um, I don't think we need any landing. We, I mean, we could use different landing struts, but whatever we send down isn't going to be very heavy anyways. We don't need those. This is more science experiments, which would be nice to have. Uh, that's 0.2 tons. We could get that in orbit of Minmus on that satellite probe that they want us to send. That's all rover stuff, which we don't need. We don't need any jet stuff. Um, yeah, I guess we'll go ahead and get this and that. We don't need more RCS. And I guess this will be fine. And... Yeah, we'll get that. I don't know if we'll use it or not. It'd be nice if we could throw it on there. But we're going to need to keep this pretty light. So, let's see. That's three tons. And what? Yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and leave it like that. So, I'm going to jump into the vehicle assembly building. And I will get started on building this. I should make sure I know exactly what I'm doing. I kind of messed around with it a little bit. I think that's kind of the base we'll start with. Um, but last minute, I decided we'll also do the satellite. So I need to make sure that I don't forget everything we're going to do. So just to go over it, we want to go to Minmus, launch a satellite. Um, we will send a small stage down to Minmus and bring it back up to the main stage and then bring the main stage back to Kerbin into orbit and meet with the space station. So I think if we can do all that in one mission, that'll be pretty awesome, pretty big feat. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on building something that will hopefully be able to do all of that.
Okay, here is the finished product. I did a little bit of testing just to make sure everything worked fine, and it seems to be okay. I think it'll get into orbit. This was lying to me. I mean, definitely. It says 34 thrust to weight ratio, but that is definitely not the case. And I added parachutes here. I don't think we're gonna be able to recover them. I think you need mods in order to do that successfully. But I figured I'd just put them on anyways, just in case. So we will give it a shot. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I think what we're gonna do is do a little time lapse, taking off, doing the ascent here. Uh, we'll aim for 85 kilometers, like it says here. And yeah, you can see here that it's 1.71, and as soon as we stage these two off, it'll be 0.69. So not quite enough. This we probably could have changed to do the mainsail. I think it's the mainsail. Yeah. Instead of the skipper, but I think this should be fine. Um, so yeah, we'll do a time lapse, get into orbit, and then we will get into moon. No, we're going to Minmus. We'll get into the Minmus orbit. And then I'll join you guys back and we can kind of release the satellite, um, release the lander, land on Minmus, fly back up, dock with the main station kind of thing that will send us back to Kerbin. And then we will also pick up the stranded Kerbal. So let's go ahead and get started with that. And we'll cross our fingers and hope we did all of our science and engineering correctly. So, bad news, one thing I just noticed is we don't have any Kerbals down here. So, because this satellite has whatever it's called, not a reaction wheel, uh, basically since this is, it has a, what I don't know what it's called, but since it's a satellite and it can run on its own autonomously, since it's connected to this main vessel, uh, it didn't automatically put any Kerbals in here. And the reason I thought about this, is I was like, oh, we hopefully have a scientist on board so we can reset this every time. But we don't have anyone. So as soon as we let the satellite go, uh, this is gonna have no control. And that's gonna be an issue. So what I need to do is go back, put some Kerbals in. Uh, we'll go ahead and call this a computer simulation and we will start the mission back again. And this time it will have some Kerbals. We'll have one scientist and yeah, we'll just have one scientist, I think. Uh, another thing is we should probably have, yeah, we should probably put mech jab on this guy as well, because I don't know if we're going to take this whole thing back to the space station with us. Maybe we will. We could probably keep that connected. Actually, we can't. So yeah, I will revert back to launch. We will go revert to assembly. We can go ahead and add the few things we need. Almost had it. We were so close. I mean, I say that now, but there's a lot of things that we still have to do on this mission. We at least know we can get to Minmus. We had plenty of Delta V to get back, or get into orbit of Minmus. 
Um, but the other things are kind of still a little bit unknown. So scientist, we're good here. Um, we will put you in... Yeah, the lander can's good. That's probably the best spot for you. Go ahead and save that since we did update that. And we will go ahead and fly back into space and kind of do the whole process again. Uh, hopefully I remember to kind of cut that a little bit shorter since it is a mistake. Um, well, not a mistake, but a computer simulation, we'll call it that. And yeah, I'm going to take off and do the same thing again with the correct, the correct guys. Let's try this again. One more time. We'll make one more change. I want to see how this will look because we're at 0.69 with that engine. And there's really not a big difference between this guy and this guy other than the vacuum ISP. But we have plenty of fuel, so I think we'll be fine. And that'll get us into orbit a little bit faster. And I think overall it may save us some fuel. If not, I mean, that's fine. It doesn't really matter. But at least we'll have a, weight, a thrust to weight ratio above one. And that's always nice to have. So yeah, we'll try this one more time and hopefully we can do pretty good. All right, we are in orbit. Let's go ahead and quick save. I forgot to do that. Uh, if you saw, I had to re redo a quick save twice because time warp messed me up. So what we can do now is take a look at the map just so I can explain things. This right here is the satellite orbit. Uh, we are here. So we'll release the satellite, and then somewhere along the way, probably here, we will set a maneuver node, shrink this down, and get it as close as we can, and then readjust it somewhere else. Um, I think we'll leave this spacecraft that we made in this orbit here, and we'll go ahead and, well, Actually, we may want to bring it a little bit closer. So we'll do that. We'll bring it closer. That way we can go to Minmus and not have any issues getting the lander back up. And then after we do all that, we will go and collect Barlow. We'll rescue him. And then from there, we will head back to Kerbin and bring all the science that we gathered back to Kerbin. So first things first, we will decouple this node so now the spacecraft is perfectly good so we'll let that go out a little bit further we will point retrograde which I think we already are yes we are um, 
Yes, we do want to bring it in a little bit further. So we want to bring it, we're here. So we'll probably bring it this side to here. Let's go ahead and do that. First, we need to stage. And now we can just lightly throttle up and actually, those are descending on six degrees. All right, we'll go there. We will add a maneuver here. We will change our descending node to get that lined up, correct plane there. And this looks like it's lined up perfectly, so we should just be able to go retrograde, wrong side. And bring that in to about there. And we need to bring it over to the left a little bit. So we'll do that. And that looks like that will work. So that's a seven point four meters per second burn. And for that, I'm just gonna do the maneuver planner. We will quick save here and we will execute the next node. So that should, when we get here in two hours and 49 minutes, execute this node. It should get us in the perfect orbit, except, yeah, this does intersect there. So this should get us in the right orbit. Since it's only 7.4 meters per second, I don't wanna deal with it. So I'll just have the computer do it. It can ha fine tune things way better than I can ever do it. And it's only a two second burn. And we still have 1200 meters per second left. We probably didn't need really any Delta V on this stage, but it's good to have. So that is good. The purple went away, so that means we're in the correct orbit. And there we go, contract complete. $107,000. Uh, Spacos, actually. So we'll go back to regular view. And we're too far away from, we'll call it the mothership, um, to actually switch to it with the, the bracket keys. And we'll manually switch to it from the map. So next step is... We have 900 meters per second left in this stage. This stage was just supposed to inject us into Minmus and circularize us. So any Delta V left over now is all just extra. This stage was supposed to be able to get us basically back home. I think actually maybe also circularize. But anyways, we only need like, what is it? Let me let me double check, just so I'm not throwing out random numbers. Um, about 1200 meters per second for this stage. And that should get us back into curve and orbit. So I think we'll be okay. Let's go ahead and turn on SAS and we can't, I swear we added mech jab. Yeah, right here. Enabled. Control from here. Um, that is because we don't have the, I think it's called the probodobodyne. We can't use SAS. We have to go with the MechJab features manually. Not manually, but we have to actually select that. So that kind of sucks. Um, but we do have the smart ASS that is kind of the same as SAS. So we can do orbital retrograde and we'll let that turn around and we'll bring in our orbit much closer. And while that's doing that, actually we should have brought that whatever that's called the science storage thing. Um, observe materials bay. We will keep that experiment. We'll EVA. 
we will collect this experiment, remove data, restore, and we'll go ahead and get an EVA report from out here. That's just high over minmus, so that's all good. We will board all that, and we can run some temperature keep. Uh, log temperature keep and we'll do a crew report keep and actually we have to step out one more time collect this data we'll also observe the mystery goo almost forgot to do that reset take take board now I don't know how many pieces of data this can hold I think it's like 20 but don't quote me on that. So yeah, we will go ahead and bring in our orbit. Go about, what is this, 400 meters per second? Actually, that's gonna be plenty. We can go ahead and just release this from here. Do we want to do that? We'll quick save. Anyways, uh, we can go ahead and decouple this node. This is going to be left in space without any anything. It's just going to sit there. Um, that may be an issue, though. Hopefully that is not an issue. Oh well, let's give it a try. We can always do a rescue mission. So let's go ahead and point retrograde. We are still retrograde, so that's good. We'll bring this down. 11,000 seems good to me. We'll warp there. Oh, we're going the opposite direction than I thought we were. But that's okay. We will get here. I hope we're not too close to the surface. Yeah, we're fine. Um, we'll retrograde again. And we want to land on this side. So we're in the sun, and I can see, and it's much easier. So we'll warp to about there. Actually, yeah, we'll go ahead and wait for that. Uh, but then once we're in the sun, we will run some experiments, collect more data that we can bring back to the research center. It may not be this, this little trip. Um, yeah, because if this docking port can't connect to the other docking port, that's just going to be very annoying. Override existing. No. We will. EVA report. We will take all this data. And restore that. Restore that. And then we'll take all this data, store that, board, and do a crew report here. Yes. So we have that crew report. All right, we are here now. So let's go ahead and that seems like a good spot. We'll go ahead and retract our landing gear. Quick save, and we will speed things up. I have a feeling this landing is going to be a little bit harder than normal landings for me, just because I don't feel like I'm in the mood to do any kind of landings. So we're at 6,000 meters. Let's do a crew report here, just to see where we're at. 
Let's go ahead and take all the data, store it, board, and do a crew report. That's the wrong one of these will tell me what biome we're above. I guess it's just getting out and EVA reporting just above the greater flats. We have not done that yet. So we will actually review, report, transmit, can't transmit. So we will just hold on to that. So let's go ahead and kill off all of our speed. Surface, surface. That will be, we'll just kill off all our horizontal speed. Horizontal speed is 20, 10, 9. It seems good to me. So we will wait. This will just float straight down. We still have a thousand meters per second. And why is this not emptying? Ah, I see. Well, we'll worry about that in a little bit. Um, so yeah, we are about a thousand. Let's kill off this a little bit more. Three, two, one. And then we'll point up. And our shadow's like right at 12 o'clock, which is never good. A little bit harder to see. We got some lag issues going on. But this should be an okay landing. Minmus is, I think, the easiest planet to land on. So if you're just starting out, you should definitely work on getting to Minmus and practicing all your maneuvers here. Because once you're here, I mean, everything is super easy. Um, so we will EVA out, we will EVA report, keep that, actually let's take, yeah we'll just observe this, keep that, observe that, keep that, log, log we'll just do all our science here we'll take all the data i have a feeling this is going to be a pretty long episode so i apologize if you are not the type of person that enjoys long episodes uh, but that's just kind of how it worked out so board here, we will review all the stored data. We will send that. Keep, keep, keep. We just wanna keep everything that doesn't have any science. And we'll just send all of that back. And that will leave us room to do everything again. So EVA report, we'll keep that. Um, that's not what I wanted. There we go, log. And keep that. So now we will take, take, take. Collect, restore, collect, restore. And we might as well just take all that and store all that. 
So it looks like 19. Hmm. Well, we'll just board anyways. We can always check later to see what we have and don't have and all that stuff. Um, so the next step is going to be to go ahead and get back to you. So we'll set you as the target. I know we can probably set a maneuver planner. We will... Um, maybe intercept target well yeah I'm not sure but we want to leave somewhere when you are about here so a quick save we will time warp and we'll get you to about Oh, and you are turning the opposite direction. So maybe we leave now. I think we'll do that. We will point surface up. Is that what we want? We'll start surface up, and then we will point to the right, which is away from the shadow. Basically towards the sun, I guess. Yes. So that would be... This way. Nope. Nope. This way. 235. About. Let's go ahead and play. <laughs> oh my god. This was pretty difficult to do. So we'll add a maneuver node here. Um, we do have a second stage. Um, we'll go ahead and do that one. And from here, we'll do that. So really, at this point, we just want to get the same plane. Which I'm really trying to hurry, but I have no need to hurry. So let's point towards the node. And we can probably we'll just kill the rotation. That should be easier. That will be much closer. Eight. Yeah, we'll just bring that to zero if we can. Four. Three. And that was too far. So we'll try again. I got a little impatient. I guess three is the best we can do for now. Um, so we will point surface orbit prograde. And we'll bring this up a little bit further. And we have tons of Delta V still, so we don't really have to worry about that too much. Actually, we can do this also. Fine-tune closest approach. Create node. 
warning, orbit. Before course correction doesn't seem to approach target very closely. Plan course, okay. So we really just need to get closer. Horizontal plus. here so we're gonna be a little bit too fast so we'll or a little slow I mean we started our burn a little late so we can bring this down right there and then from here we can add a maneuver we'll just circularize and then this will kind of speed us up so I'm gonna get this back into orbit and connected with our, at least close enough to our guy so we can have that set up and then I'll join you back once we get just about docked. So you guys don't have to sit here and watch me adjust things and do all that stuff and we'll get there eventually. So this episode uh, ended up being extremely long. Even at this point, it's already pretty long and can probably be split into two episodes. But I am going to split the episode that I have in half, and we will continue the mission uh, in the next episode, and that'll be all the docking and returning to Kerbin with all the science and everything like that. So if you liked today's episode, be sure to hit that like button, and if you don't want to miss the next episode, be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And thank you for joining me. I will see you guys next time.